Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. I'm really that girl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Amina. As you can tell from the title, today we'll be filming a three-in-one get ready with me, featuring my hair, makeup, outfit, and I asked you guys to ask me some questions, so I'll be answering some questions. First off, this hair is from Elfing Hair. They sent me this unit. If you guys want to see that, I did do a um, customization video on my TikTok where I like bleached it, plucked it, all that stuff, and I think I did a good job. Like. It's giving real scalp, like I, I did pluck it a lot, but I wanted it to be like really like low-key bald. <laughs> 250 density, you can tell, this hair is big, like she's big. And I can't wait to wet her and style her. I didn't even cut the lace yet, you know? I know you guys were already saying lace wear, but no, lace is right here. Okay, so this is all we're working with. The lace is good. This is a little scar I have. So we ignored that. They sent me this cute little bag, y'all. Look at this bag. It has like elfin on it. I already already put all my products in it. They sent this cute comb too, it has elfin hair. You can never have too many rat tail combs, I feel. So I'm just gonna be putting some of the hair back before I cut the lace. Oh, razor thing. Start. Okay. It's giving, <laughs> it's giving lace right here. Like it's not giving lace wear, it's giving lace absolutely right here. Spray it and tight, spray and tight. It's like a little elastic band. Um, I also have my Jamazelle hair brain. on that. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Jamazelle hair elastic band. Look at how beat up this thing is, guys, because I use it religiously. I love this band. I don't do anything without her. I'm gonna link her down below because she has the best hair quality. Quality hair. Anyways, I can be, I'm really over here promoting another hair brand while I'm filming a hair brand video. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna be using this hold spray. It's like a super hold and miss. It's from the beauty supply store. It burns. Over like that. Rubbing it in a little. Grabbing this. And I like my thing tight. I know it's supposed to go over once, but I like to double it. And with that, we're gonna start hot combing. So I'm using this bed head wax stick. It's literally finished, but we're gonna make do and just This is the wax, guys. I'm just, it's done. So I'm just trying to scrape it a little. And then put it on. Yeah. <laughs> All the time without fail, I'm always burning myself. Now I'm gonna be taking the spritz just for some extra hold. In my eye. <laughs> Pretty. Okay, so that's it all done. Let's see what we're looking like. Ooh, not bad. Just let's do a little simple baby hair. comb as the little tiny curler that the girl will be using. That works. And just fit game. It's your game that got me walking around ready to wear your big chain. I only argue with them when them Lakers on. Other than that, I'm getting my Mark Jacob on. So we're trying something different with the baby here. <laughs> I don't know if it looks silly, but... <clears throat> Let's just move on to the one. I'm gonna use mousse this time because I feel like the spritz made it hard. That's what made it like so like not fluffy. It just like looks hard. So Oh. 
Okay guys, so the baby hairs are done. Look at them. I like them. I know it's a little extreme. Just let's do a little simple baby hair. So the baby hairs are a little extra, but I like them. It's time to mousse up the hair. Should I do it before or after I do my makeup? I think I might do it after just so that it gives the dramaticness. I'm gonna clip it so that we can start this phase. We've been doing too much yakba yakba, boku tok boku tok, and not enough beating. Not that close. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. We're ready. So, question number one. Let's look at the questions. It's time to look at the questions. Y'all didn't actually ask me that many questions, I'm not gonna lie, but. Dream place to live and why? Hmm. Okay, so you guys know I love to travel, right? Who doesn't? Like, no, I've actually met some people who don't like to travel. This guy I used to talk to didn't, didn't have no desire to, to travel. I don't even know why we're talking because we had nothing in common. When it comes to settling down, I actually don't know. I feel like I want to live in a whole bunch of places. I want to be like that nomad girl. I want to be like, oh yeah, I've spent a couple months here, a couple months in Italy, a couple months there. I just want to be that girl that like when someone says place, I feel like I've been there. Like I want to experience everywhere this world has to offer before I settle down and have kids. Of course, when I have kids, I want to do those stuff too. But before I have kids, I want to be that girl that just lived everywhere. Like have all the little experiences. Yeah, settling down, I have no idea. We're going to have to see. It's around what age you want kids and how many. Okay. I used to always answer this question like, yeah, I want 10, 15. No, 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 10, 15. What the heck am I saying? I used to say, oh yeah, I want a whole bunch of kids. Like I want seven kids. But I know I want to have kids by like 27-ish, 28. Like it all depends on what God's plan, of course. Like by the time I found my husband and like what, what is best for us. I used to say six, but I think I want around four now. Just because I like a big family, like I have three siblings, so there's four of us, and I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Like I love how close we are, like we really raise each other, and especially now as we're older, we just get closer. And I feel like, you know, your parents are there for you, but you, you kind of always look at them as parents. Like with my parents, I don't always look at them as parents anymore because we're starting to actually form a relationship, like a adult to adult a relationship. Like today I was asking my mom about... <laughs> dating advice i was like mom you know this guy like telling her like getting because they know like it's so weird how how much your parents know because they've been there like it's so weird to see your parents as people but they they know more than you because they were your age at one point and they had the same struggles so it's just so nice to me that i get to experience my parents like that now but um what was the question i'm always getting off topic this is why i need to close my mouth this is why i do voiceovers for you guys because i'm always getting off topic so what was the question <laughs> Next question, advice for or something you want to tell your younger self. Hmm, something I want to tell my younger self. I would say, girl, do not worry about what anybody thinks. I still gotta tell myself that till today because I am a big, oh, bruh. I live in my head more than I live out here. So like I always used to and still do like always think about what people think about me. Just don't worry about what other people think. Like, I feel like I really took that too far, especially when I was growing up. I have this thing where I'm just overly nice and I overexert myself for people because I think it will make them like me more. So I'm still dealing with that till today, but obviously through God and everything like that, I'm able to navigate how to find a balance between doing things because, you know, I want to. And out of kindness, not niceness, I have I made a video recently about that. And I'm gonna post this soon because I feel like a lot of people mistake kindness for niceness. My parents raised us so nicely, so good. Like we we're so respectful of children, but there comes a point where, you know, saying no is not a bad thing. Saying no or being like, no, this is not, this is not my capability, it's not a bad thing. And I'm sorry, I'm a yes man. I used to be, I still am, but I'm working on it. But yeah, just don't worry about what other people think. <laughs> Especially in a world where Today the sky is blue, tomorrow everybody's saying it's green. Like honestly, opinions change, people change, people's beauty standards change. Like I always, it just fluctuates too much. And when you have, oh, here I go, I'm gonna be preaching so Everything's probably gonna go back to God, I love these questions, but when you have God in your life, you really start to focus on what is bigger than that. Because to me, that's one of the main things that really like surprised me when it came to like diving with, within Christ is that none of these trends matter nothing like that god's love for you is everlasting like he's gonna you think bro the amount of times when i was younger my looks were beautiful 
There came a point where it was the worst thing. Everybody was making fun of me, all these things. Then it came a point where it was like, no, 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 no. She needs to be on magazine covers. All these things. That's why I feel like I'm trying to balance all that right now. Like being able to still stand so stern, stand, stand so stern without society's standards of beauty. But it's not easy, but it's definitely achievable. And when you have God in your life, you know he made you perfectly as you are. Every single flaw, it does not matter what the sun is in, what the moon is in, what is re retrogating, what is renegating. God made you how you are and you got to deal with those things within him because he's the creator of them. That's it. Because <laughs> I can go on and on, guys. <laughs> what are your 2022 goals? I have so many goals. Obviously, I want to grow more within Christ. Like, I don't want to be the same as I was yesterday. I don't want to ever be a time where I was doing, I was um, reading my word more, anything like that. I want to be more consistent on social media. As you guys can see, I'm trying really hard because I feel like the only thing that's been stopping me is doubt. Like, being afraid of what people think, like, all those type of things. Like, what if I take it too seriously? People are like, who does she think she is? But if I want to be where I want to be, I'm going to have to make those steps. And no matter what no anyone thinks about me, my audience is not the people that I know is people way further than that. So in order to reach them, I gotta be consistent. I gotta take those quality pictures, you know, like, you know, make it good. And that's what I enjoy. I love making quality content. That's it. That's my thing. Like, I just love it. I love editing. I love taking my time. I love, I love all of it. I know I wanna touch people and I want when they see me to see God. That is literally the premise of me. I want you to know that you can come to me you can come to me for makeup, hair, whatever you're really watching this video for, but you will hear something about God that could sway you or that could open your mind or anything like that. And I feel like that is what God has been using my platform for is more like he wants me to be me within me. These baby hairs are lifted. <laughs> he wants me to be like how I am exactly, but he also wants me to help people and spread the word too. So that's what I'm trying to do as well and of course that's gonna receive a lot of like backlash and stuff as people start to be like oh you know she doesn't talk about god but no amina's still cool she's still fun you can be you could be within god and still be cool and <laughs> dress nice and everything you they just expect you to be like oh not only post about god i'm always gonna just post serious content no i'm still me but i want you to know that i'm me because of him i'm a better me because of him <laughs> the next question is will i be filming a instagram growth video soon so i get this question a lot people want me to film like how i grew my instagram because i'm not gonna lie instagram has grown like in the past three months i feel by at least like 10k and for me i don't know what to say honestly like there's so many videos out here of people saying the same thing and yeah, I don't feel like I purposely grew it. I'm not gonna lie, not to toot my own horn. I've been making content for a while. I feel I've been making it for maybe the last three to four years. And I feel like it's just now finally getting the recognition. Like if you guys see the throwback pics, I can show you 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, where I was looking good. Like the girl always looked good. And I know how to like take pictures and like edit and everything like that. But I feel like it's just now that people are seeing it really and when it comes to that i feel like it's just a case of quality too so now i take my pictures on the camera i used to always be like oh no i'm not gonna be one of those girls that take a picture on the camera because i feel like it's just too serious for instagram look at me now all camera pictures but if i was to say a reason why my instagram really did blow i would say it's the reposting so like when i take a nice picture definitely um different accounts will start to like pick up on it and we posted like dark skin women, black girl magic, stuff like that. And those bring in the followers. Quality is key because that's the ones that are gonna be repo reposted. So I just feel like focus on your quality if anything. Just make sure that it's clean, crisp because that's what they wanna see reposted. Think about it. Those pages that you see repost like those things, like women and stuff, they always have high quality pictures. And they tag you and then all their followers go to you. So yeah, just focus on quality. I'll make a video on it if you guys really want me to, but just say the word, like just comment down below. Next question. So my eyes are set. Today is my birthday. Could you wish me a happy birthday, please? Oh, happy birthday, Princess Katie. Happy birthday, girl. I'm sorry, guys. This is why I don't talk. 
and do my makeup because I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know half of the eyeshadow that I just put on my lid. This is why I stay quiet and I do my makeup in quietness. And if you guys want a voiceover, I'll do a voiceover. But now y'all asking me to talk and do my makeup at the same time. And I don't know what I'm doing, okay? So we're just winging it today. I don't even know what type of look. I kind of want to do something colorful like it's Easter. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some pink. Another thing is I really want to start making money from this, guys. Like, I feel like I just got to reach my people. Reach the people who pay. Because I'm sorry. Not to toot my own horn. Toot, toot. But um, I'm good at this. I feel like I am good at this. Like, not this. Obviously, when I'm talking all that, I can feel I feel a little, like, rambly and stuff. But I'm good at, like, this, like, content stuff. Like, I know how to make things look good and crisp and connect with people. And people feel inspired. People want to, like, actually listen to me and watch my videos. And I just feel like... I don't do it for the free. Man, y'all gotta pay me. Like, I'm doing all this free promo, basically. No. Pay me. Please. Y'all kind of wanted to see the little wing cut crease I did on my what's in my tote bag video. Because that one was like a small cut crease. I might do that a small one instead of like the bigger one I usually do. A little small cut crease. Yeah. Let's do that. P. Louise is sponsoring me too because I was using this product. Anywho. Oh, what can't you leave, leave your phone, your home without? What's your signature item? My state, my staple makeup would definitely be a uh, lip gloss, just like a, a little lippy. Regular item would definitely be my little light. I used to have the Lumi Q, but I don't know what happened. Um, I went to a um, skating rink type of party thing. And those girls are passing around that light like it was candy and then I didn't get it back so I know one of you girls in the DMV who was at Mr. Toby Drills's lit, um, roller skating music video I know one of y'all got my light and if you're seeing this I'm gonna get you I have this other light that's a little bigger so I usually use that one that's cute it's so like not clean though What's your favorite song? Oh, you can't ask a girl that. What's my favorite song? Lightning by Mortimer. Such a beautiful song. My favorite songs are like love songs. Like those songs that you can really feel it. Like, I love that song. I feel like that's like God's love song to me. Because every time I sing that song, it feels like God is singing that song to me. Like that's his little love, that's our little love song. I used to always be like, I can't wait for a man to sing this song to me, but God sings that song to me. Period. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not in my element. Y'all are really putting up with this, but I don't know because I can't talk and do makeup at the same time. That's okay. We're going to do our best. I really want to step out my comfort zone this year. Like, you guys don't understand understand how much I say I can't before I actually do something like I'm like no I can't that's not meant for me like no no send somebody else God I have a stutter send somebody else like I'm literally Moses like and this year God is just like girl I don't pick people who are qualified I qualify the picked people so I picked you and I will qualify you and I'm just trying to let him I'm just trying to let him have his moment with that, like... As much as I don't feel qualified, God will qualify you. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, see? I'm messing up. But, yeah, as much as you probably don't feel qualified, God qualifies. He doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. What is the hardest thing about being a Christian in 2022? This we're about to get real real right now is the fact that we know what we're doing. We know our God. Everyone has a personal relationship with God. But then you start to worry that people question your personal relationship with God based on the things you do. So personally, I feel like as I started wanting to speak about Christ on my platforms and everything like that, of course, it was a big deal. 
it may not be a big deal to some people but to me it was a big deal because i started to wonder if people were gonna be like oh you do this did you not just post a bikini pic a month ago you're not da 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 but i feel like that is what always hinders people from feeling like they can chase after god publicly because people will start to scrutinize them that what they also do publicly is not chasing after god but what they're doing just there what they're doing by saying oh you're not doing this is them running the opposite way from god because i thought you weren't supposed to be judgmental that's not very christian of you everyone has their walk with god as we say it's a walk there are going to be some some stumbles some falls but we get back we get back up it is our place as christians to advise people and but not condemn them and that's what makes people scared into posting about god publicly because then you start to scrutinize everything they do publicly like i am still me i still love god and i could be me and love god on the same place you know insecure yvonne orgy who's on insecure she talks about often she is very uh she's she's a christian she's very very christian like but obviously on the show she was busting it down doing all this mind you she's a virgin she's waiting for marriage she's 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 older she's in her 30s i think but she was busting it down on the show she had scenes that had her like you know not i wouldn't say what's the word i wouldn't say that she was praising sex but you know open sex scenes but she wasn't obviously having sex or whatever but to, her, to people that probably was so like condemning of her she comes she has this book called um bamboo to bamboos with by jesus which i love i have yet to finish it because i can't find it but <laughs> um where she openly talks about her walk with god and like she talks about it in such a way that is so like different like it's so it's so today so she says something along the lines of like god would not have given her the opportunity of something like insecure which is huge which is like it's one of her biggest 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 dreams if he wanted her to not do it like of course he knows it's outside of christianity we can do more than be in our ministry as christians but he wouldn't have gave her the opportunity if he said no if it's gonna be explicit don't do it if it's gonna be this don't do it he wants you to chase your dreams and it's all about your relationship with him as long as you're not saying yes this is what we should do as christian and lean the people the wrong way he still wants you to be yourself within within god and that's what i truly love and respect about her and respect about this religion and what other people need to see too is that you cannot you cannot you cannot condemn people because what their what their christian what their relationship with god does not look like your relationship you need to focus on your relationship if you think that it's okay to condemn people for their relationship you know so yeah that's my little rant i'm done <laughs> Someone asked me, do I plan on moving back to London? Um, I want to move. I want to move somewhere away from home. I was thinking of going just to another state in the US. Um, but I do want to live in London again. I don't know if it's going to happen now. I look like so scary. But guys, please trust the process. You know, I never fail you. But yeah, I want to move. I don't know if London is going to be where I move. But I do want to live in London again, maybe in the next few years. But yeah, I miss, I miss London so much. How do you learn how to do your own hair and makeup and what tips help? Well, I feel like, okay, there's a reason why people are so like mystified by like UK makeup, UK hair like they always say uk is the best at doing those things it's because we start young one we start young i feel like when i was in secondary school literally year eight i had the block brow we start young and like the thing about uk girls i feel like they have to be good at everything they do so you practice you practice you practice you practice you're doing that thing every day you're getting better american girls i'm not saying they don't but i feel like american girls are more on the uh uh you know but uk girls are elite because they try very hard in everything that they do like there's no room for failure there's no room for being half good at something if you're doing makeup you're gonna do it well because it's gonna be being done every day you're practicing you're practicing you're practicing every day was makeup makeup artist at school i remember i used to go to school with glitter glitter on my eyelids because who didn't like we knew we had to show out and that's why i feel like really built 
my ability to do it is because I practiced a lot like I was able to practice a lot I was able to be bad before I, I got good a lot of people expect when they start to just be great but no we all had to go through all the bad phases now we all had to go through the phases where we weren't that good at it in order to make it look good now so you have to like kind of be patient with yourself practice and know it's not going to be perfect the first few times but as you start to learn your face it will be eventually um someone also asked me like do i do other people's makeup professionally and the answer is no <laughs> just because i feel like, like a true makeup artist is someone who can see someone's face and do it learn their face learn learn what will work for them and be able to execute it all at the same time and i just don't feel like i'm that skilled at doing that because it took me years to be able to do my face well because i learned okay what works best for me what angle of my eyeliner works best what where do i placement of my concealer works best to you know achieve the type of look i'm going for so but yeah we're going to boots setting spray after every step guys it's eyeliner time you know we gotta stay quiet for that part okay smudge a little of the pink that I use at the top under my eyes just to bring a little color to the bottom I want it to be like crisp but I want it to be That's cute. Okay. That's cute. I'm really that girl. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hurt nobody. Hold on. I even put. I even put the clear lip gloss on Seth. This is just maxi through. Shout out to Jackie. Happy birthday, girl. It's Jackie's birthday as I'm filming this. So happy birthday, Jackie. Put the clear. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, don't chat to me anyhow, check kids, check kids now, let me spray this set and spray, Morphe set and spray for life, someone asked me what's my favorite makeup brand, I think it is Morphe, yeah, oh, oh, all right guys our makeup is done what do we think i actually really like this look as a little color for the spring we still got that dewy cheekbones are cheek bony <laughs> but yeah under eye obviously it's very bright <laughs> but yeah let's do this hair guys I'm just gonna mousse her up but yeah this is definitely given 250 density but i'm just taking this loose Take a big clunk of mousse. Spread it and just run it through. The curls are coming through. Look at that. Okay. I like it. It's making me want to go on holiday. <laughs> Wow, look at that. I love it. Look at that. It's so full as well. It's so soft. It's so light. That's the word. It's light as well. Like, it doesn't even feel like I have that much hair on my head. Get some spritz on it. It's gonna make it a little hard, but I want the curls to stay like this so. The spritz is gonna help it keep this 
curl. Oh, gee, let me see if I can show you guys the back. Zoom up. And lastly for outfits, since we're done with the hair and makeup, what you guys think? I know I didn't answer that many questions, but I feel like it's because I over answered some questions, so it just made me talk a little too much, so yeah. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment them down below, but let's get into the outfit. I had this skirt for so long. I want to say since that, 19 three years or four years now it's from pretty little thing i was insert a picture of me i think in 2019 when i wore this skirt i was so cute i was so cute like you guys can tell me it was cute that's what i mean i've always i've always been that girl and this top i feel like i'm always wearing this top it's one of my favorite tops though it's this top also from pretty little thing pretty little thing you guys need a sponsor girl and for a bag i was thinking of wearing this tiny tiny top tiny bag it's just a tiny tiny zebra bag i love it it's so cute it has no purpose but to look cute on your hand I'm forever 21 like so long ago so long ago you should just keep my jewelry in these two whenever i'm going anywhere or like filming so i can keep them all with me this bag is from bag it up i'll link it down below but bag it up i love their jewelry they sent me over like some rings some necklaces and all that and i love it and i keep other stuff in this little marcella box i got so let's choose the jewelry i think i might i'm always a silver girl guys i'm not gonna lie the details on this bag are silver so i'm just gonna go ahead and silver i'm gonna start with this little pin pin bracelet it's from bag it up i love to layer my jewelry so i sometimes don't know when to stop <laughs> i have this watch which is also for my mom it's just a little simple silver watch i love this watch it's so cute it goes with everything so i'm thinking these three for bracelets is it too much yeah let's just take up the pandora one so it's just like those two cute i might make my margella necklace but i don't know if it'll go just like the guys this is the outfit so far I don't know if I like the necklace with it. I have this other necklace, but it's a bit more. It's a bit much, but it has like these green details in it. Or is it doing too much? I think I might do this one. And then then he's coming. Is it, is it shaking? With the bag, where's the bag? This little bag. <laughs> yeah, is it giving? Is it giving? This is a skirt. The pics will probably be on Instagram, so I'll probably insert them. They buy it the wrong way, Seth. And it's open. Actually, I'm tensing my, my one app. Now that we know it's chic, babe proof. <laughs> that is my three part get ready with me. We done our hair, we done our makeup, and now we done our outfit. So yeah, as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of them things. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. And shout out to Re Prestige Residentials, which is the space I am filming in today. Today I'm in this gorgeous green room that honestly I don't appreciate enough because she's giving black girl luxury. She's giving black girl luxury and I love it, I love her. Most of the videos that I actually make on my YouTube were filmed here. So yes, make sure you guys check them out. If you're in the DMV area and you're looking to level up your content just to have more aesthetic background and all that kind of stuff, make sure you follow them. I'll have a link below and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye.